okay guys let's see and i have a dell desktop computer i'm about to clean it as well it's very dirty as you can see right here but anyway the problem that we're gonna deal with with this computer is the no display on monitor this will be able to help you with your computer whether desktop lenovo hp etc so i'm gonna open it if it happens that you're getting no signal on your display or you're getting the no signal it's just blinking like that nothing is going through depending upon the type of monitor you're using there are simple thing that you can do to resolve this issue one of the thing is by holding down the power button for approximately 50 seconds or so you can do this for over a minute and some so you just want to hold down the power button by holding down the power button by doing this this will help your computer to revive itself by draining the unwanted electricity in your motherboard so you can hold this down for about a minute or 50 seconds or so sorry about the paint on my hand i was doing some painting as well yeah so guys this is how you're going about doing this so this is the first step that you need to try i'm doing this to help some of you out those of you who are on my youtube channel some of my subscribers who message me saying yo lens i'm still experiencing no display problem on my monitor so that's the first step that you want to do if that fail then you want to open your computer and then i'm going to show you exactly what you need to do in resolving this issue so i just open the desktop as you can see we need to clean this up because there are a lot of dust around as well so this also is a cleaning job uh, what we're gonna do we are going to remove the memory card this is one of the things that you need to do in solving this issue remove your memory card as if your computer is a hp or acer you will need to check your memory card if it happens that one of your memory card is defective this can cause your computer not to start whatsoever and without you knowing what the problem is your computer will not start there are notification lights for dell computers and you can find these four lights at the back these lights normally help us to diagnose what the problem is as you can see a b c d you can see the four lights right here so you will see if everything is functional you will see all green and you can look for the manual for your device on the internet so back to what i was saying if one of your memory card is defective that can cause your computer not to work as it should as the as there is an error that persists with that error being existing with your system your device cannot start so what we will need to do we need to analyze our memory and if one of our memory isn't working we would have to try them one by one i recommend that you try your memory card one by one ensuring that they're working as this can cause your computer not to start dell computers are one of the easiest computer to fix secondly another thing that you need to do is to even take out your cmos battery this is the battery that would save data and also save the time on your computer I'm doing this video to help those of you who are struggling as you can look I have myself a cleaning job to clean this desktop computer out with all the dust we have here it 
it's very dirty at the back so we're gonna clean this this is functional this is working and I hope that you guys get the idea of what I'm talking about you have to test your cards individually and also what you will need you will also need to check if all else failed it will be your onboard video card so if your onboard video card failed which is this one right you here, will need an external video card which I have here right it also has HDMI port right here so we're good to go we have two type of VGA cable and also HDMI I just put this in to upgrade the system with my computer here and if it happens that your on board video card fail be built in video card which is on the board fail you can simple purchase one of these right so here is our video card underneath here another thing that you can do underneath here is to for those of you who have tech skills background you can even remove this heat sink and you can replace some thermal piece on the card see if that helps okay so as I'm saying that's the step that you need to take in fixing the no display on your screen additionally we need to ensure that our cable is in properly at the back of our computer and also at the back of our monitor ensure that there isn't any broken pin inside the wire as well or, and also ensure that the wire isn't break or bend badly in any way so those are common checks that you can make in order to solve this issue so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna clean this down clean this out and then i'm gonna start this up and ensure that everything is working Okay guys, so I finished cleaning up the computer as you can see a lot of dust came out from the back and also I cleaned the motherboard clean and everything and what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna apply thermal paste and then I'm gonna put in back the heat sink I'm gonna show you guys when I turn this baby on but one of the reasons for all of this dust that is contributing to this device I would say is not that it's in a bad environment but the fan is it is not the correct fan the fan is a fan from a different unit so i decided to use it with this computer as this fan for this is failed as you can see here i even cut the two wires and i joined the wires here for the fan most of you who are in computer repairing would know that dell fans normally would have four wires yeah 
so you will normally see four wires going to your fan this is as to why I pull out two of them and the two that would detect the fan unit the only wires that are here is only the wires that would power so the wires the fan. that would power the fan to make the fan spin these are the wires that you can see that goes to the fan on the other hand the other wires that I pull out which this unit do not carry I pull them out from the pin I pull the wires out so this fan is not detecting by the computer but it is is really working perfectly but it is generating a lot of dust it seems to be pulling a lot of dust from different parts of the room and also because the system cannot control the fan the way it should the fan is just spinning 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 so yeah so that's the reason for all of this right here so i'm gonna put everything back up and then i'm gonna turn this on uh this part of it where i clean this computer this have nothing to do with the black screen but you know it's very good for you to clean your pc your desktop computer to reapply thermal paste as well and i'm gonna just put this back up and then i'm gonna turn it on and i'm gonna see if this computer still works i have this computer for over eight years now i should say they're about to be exact so it's around for some time and it's still kicking okay guys so the moment of truth you can hear the fan spinning all i did was just flip the switch there i didn't touch anything as yet you can hear the computer coming on you can see that all the settings reset uh it's telling us about the fan alert cpu fan and we can take that error off it's just because it's not the correct fan so yeah just press F1 to continue. We need to get the correct fan for this computer. It's working fine. It's working. You know, it's performing as well. So everything is working uh, I'm using a smaller monitor at the moment but with this computer I normally use a much bigger monitor and on that monitor these icons are by the side and I still have a lot of space so you can see that the monitor is packed out with files and different folders and application and software here but everything is working with this computer uh, you can see that the time is 2005 and this normally happen when you reset your CMOS battery as I stated before you will need to reset your CMOS battery as well that can help you with the no display on your screen so you can go right ahead and follow these steps that I did earlier in this video and they should help you in reviving your no display on screen I'm lens yeah I'm lens and I want you guys to subscribe to my youtube channel also like this video or dislike this video whichever you choose and also comment down below leave a comment down below let me know what's happening let me know your thoughts